Because people, when people feel threatened, they got to talk about somebody. Amen. Anybody ever been there? Amen. If you threaten somebody, the first thing they'll do is try to take you down. Uh, they'll try to talk about you and pull you down because they feel threat. If you're not a threat to them, they don't bother you. You know, the quiet folk that come in and work, do they die, and don't say nothing about it. They don't mess with them. But when they see you doing good and you excelling and God is blessing you, then they come after you. They want to tell you that. Because they feel threat. Their position feels threat. And so that's what they do when they talk about Jesus and when they talk about his death, burial, and the resurrection. And you want to raise up all of these questions. Well, if it didn't bother you, you wouldn't say nothing about it. But because you feel threatened of something you don't believe, you got to talk about it. Just believe what you believe. If you don't believe them, hey, go ahead on, let your men. Now you got to talk about me. I ain't saying nothing to you. That's the way people are. But they always want to find discrepancies or try to find discrepancies. But if you look here, it said it was the end of the Sabbath. Now we know that the Sabbath day in the Old Testament was Saturday. Saturday. And Saturday was that Passover day. And what they did was that Friday when Jesus hung his head and said that it's finished, they had to take him down before the Sabbath day, which was that Saturday, because no one could be hanging or crucified on the Sabbath day. And so the Bible says here in the first verse, it was the end of the Sabbath day, which was Saturday, going to the first day of the week. And on the calendar, we know that first day is Sunday. And so it's on Sunday when he rose that we come to worship the Lord. It's okay, some people still go to church on Saturday, the Sabbath day of Venice, that's all well, fine, and good. But it doesn't matter what day you pick. As long as you give God all of yourself. And so we worship him on Sunday. This is why we come on Sunday, because Jesus got up on Sunday. The first day, y'all see it for yourself, don't you? It's the first day of the week that Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came looking for Jesus. Now, what happened in those three days when Jesus was placed in his barber tomb? He went down to the depths of hell and woke Satan again. Again. Kind of like this. Everybody know what a bumblebee is, right? <laughs> bumblebee come fly around, and a lot of people scared of them, a lot of people are hurt them. When people see bees, they kind of get to run. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I have been stung by a bee one time. And when it stung me, it left the stinger in my arm, and it flew off. Now, because the stinger was still in my arm, it was kind of bruised and wet. Started to swell a little bit because the stinger was still there. Yeah. Now, we kept on flying. Mm -hmm. Look like a bee, sound like a bee, move like a bee, but it didn't have no stinger. <laughs> this is what Jesus did for us. When he went down into hell and whooped Satan again, he took the sting out of death. So when you see death coming and look like death, right now. walk like death, talk like death, but it don't have no sting. That's why the scripture says, Beth, where is your sting? Grave, where is your victim? You don't have it no more. Right now. Why? Because Jesus took the sting from death. Yeah. And although it may look like death, tell your neighbor it ain't what it looked like. Yeah. That's why the Bible says that we only go to sleep. Oh, which I hope y'all call it revelation. Oh, yeah. Jesus took the sting out of death. Yeah. So you don't have to die no more. Yeah. You don't have to die any longer because Jesus took the sting and he got it. He, look, he told Satan, look, give me your best shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jesus took what he had to give him. And he still rolled it. Right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. That's like Jackson trying to hit me and I just keep on walking. It don't even bother me. But 
But that's what Jesus did for you. He took the sting out of death. The grain has no victory. Nothing can hold you down. All we do is sleep from this place to our heavenly place. So, as we look and see that the first day of the week they came looking for Mary and Mary. No meaning. Y'all say amen. amen. This is what gives me about them old men that don't like women preachers. There's one thing about men, we the first to run, we run the fastest, and we don't like pain. Y'all say amen. amen. If we sick, you better call the ambulance. <laughs> if we get sick, Oh, you better stop everything you're doing and come take care of us. If we get sick, come on somebody. Women get sick, you're still cooking, you're still cleaning and sliding in the bathroom, you're working. That, that's just the reality. We, we stay when we have to, but when we get sick, you better call somebody. The men 